Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. As of today, as you guys have seen, the Equinox event has ended. Now, before I get to the video, I'm gonna rate the Equinox a because it's a no-goer for me. Because I did not get a shiny Lunatone and I did not get a shiny Soul Rock. All two I got was on two different accounts. One, Shiny Rizzo on my first account. Well, my main account was a Mystic Nas of Valor, as you guys can see. Then, now, my second account, Shiny Squirtle. That was my first one on my second account. My very first one. It's hurt back here. Uh, having a little chance to talk a little bit, but uh, as you guys can see, uh, I'm having a little problem. It's healed up, but it's just still hardened back here and right here. So, right, right here, and right here. So, uh, anyway, as of today, you guys, we have had some updates in Pokemon Go. So, I, oh, yeah. so I am going to go to Pokemon Go Hub and show you guys what we have today for the video. As today, we got a lot of updates concerning Bagon. So, I'm gonna go to the news and show you guys what has been announced. We're gonna go to the first one that was leaked that we talked about yesterday. So let's load up real quick. Okay. Now last year we had this as well. We had Earth Day. Now Earth Day has been leaked for a brown type Pokemon, such as Shiny Diglett and Shiny Ground are coming back. When Shiny Ground is coming back, Shiny Diglett is the first in the game. So it's from April 13th to April 28th to show you guys to what it starts for and what shows to the screen of what we're gonna have next. So, as you go down, we're going to read. It says, Trainers, for the second year in a row, Nike has announced their annual Earth Day campaign. Just like the last year, Nike teams up with Play Mob. If you guys don't know what Play Mob is, I don't know what it is. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It'll take you to the website and show what Play Mob is. Uh, as it's loading up, uh, Play Mob is a website that I don't know yet, but it's. Uh, it is to engage uh, with Fez, Hyper Connected, take your player to the next level, empower to a difference, improve your commercial results, gain yourself a better world. So they are uh, going to be with Playmob, which is a good website. I'll put it in the link. You guys not knowing it, what Playmob is, you guys come to this. And so they're teaming up with Playmob, which is pretty good. I am not mad about this. This is actually a kind of good event to start off with to talk about in this video. So it says, Elson says, to encourage players to participate in cleanup events all around the world, Earth Day 2019 events will take place from April 13th to 28th. Niantic blog states, we are inviting all nine players to Niantic players to participate in health battle. Important issues such as ocean pollution, damage, ecosystem, and unhealthy environment. Now, I learned this in school, and uh, what they mean by that is there's people out there that have been throwing trash, throwing bottles, like trash, water bottles, recycling them into the water, into the ocean. Now, if you're one of them, please do not do that. It is bad because all of our animals that are down in the ocean, like our, we, our, our seagulls, our uh, fishes, we've got a lot of animals in the ocean, you guys. And you guys that are throwing trash all over the oceans is horrifying and horrible to do. They are want you guys that want to as plain as Pokemon Go to participate in that to clean up the ocean. I am not mad about I am, I would be excited to pick up trash and everything. But that would be a good thing to do to have people come out to battle important issues to this pollution, the ecosystems and the environment. 
which I like people from doing that. But the blog, it says the full blog post can be here. So now they have a website. <coughs> they have a website. Website. They're on, on their website. Shows the same thing. And uh, shows you they're differently. As of some we, you recall, we used to celebrate Earth Day last year and made some major impact around the world with thousands of players lending a hand across 68 events and countless in go leading way the collected 6.5 tons of garbage, making way for cleaner, healthier communities. They say to say we were proud to all players in an earth statement. Because the music says of last year's Earth Day campaign, we teamed up with Play Mob again. Of gaming Play Mob Gaming for a good uh, engagement platform and 15 ingos to host cleanups communities. Near you work to shatter last year's goals. As an organization with millions of players around the world, we see that it is that it is we see it as part of our responsibility to help ensure things such as ocean pollution, global warming, are at the forefront of conversation action. So, what they're saying is, guys, they're going to try to make their goal like they did last year to do new, a new goal this year. So, which is, I'm not bad about, I'm not like mad. I'm actually excited for that. That is kind of something good I want for people. Now, we're going to get to the event rewards. It says, Earth Day 2019 event rewards as a reward to the player base and the participation communities for their efforts in game bonuses will be rewarded globally for both Ingress, 19 other R A R game in Pokemon Go. However, specific goals will need to be achieved. These 2000 players can then clean up global rewards will be Pokemon Go increased spawns of ground type Pokemon. Increase probability of getting heat sink, multi hack, skills, all kinds of power tools. All types of living losses. I don't play that. But if, if, right here, guys, it says right here, and this is the truth, if 5,000 players intend to clean up global wars, will be Pokemon Go, will be Shiny Diglett. Now, if you guys don't know what Shiny Diglett looks like, Oh god, you guys are missing out right now. It is big. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me get it up here real quick. I'm trying to get here quicker so you guys can see me get it on there a lot faster. You guys are not knowing what Shawnee Diglett looks like. I will have the family. Uh, on the on this side of me, so you guys can see what shines what they look like and what their color is. You can tell by the nose. On their nose, you can tell the color of their shiny. When you see their color, that is what it means. They're not releasing the one one. I wish they could. I wish they could, but uh, as of uh, title uh, put in here. I'm gonna put the picture in there as well so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, these are the old shinies that have not been released, so I will have that in the deal. That is, these all are the Alone shines that have not been released in the game yet. The only ones that have been released was Merlot and Raichu. That is the only two that I've noticed so far has been released. And not to know that, uh, Shiny Judo, along with Judo, has not been released. None of them except for Raichu and Merlot. That's the only two we know that's out right now. So, we continue with the, uh, It is safe. So, if that happens, they will have that instead of have ingress and all that. And plus, increased spawns of ground type Pokemon, which would be Geodude, Groudon, Graveler, Gollum. There's a lot of ground, uh, 
underground type Pokemon that I know that I've caught in game. So it'd be good. So if 7,000 players attend and clean up, global rewards will be Pokemon Go two times the starters, which I do need, and candy for event spawns, Groudon, and Enraged, and Shiny Diglett released at the same time. And increased spawns to have ground type Pokemon. Now, I know there's a lot of people that does not have shiny Groudon. I, I do, but I'm going to put this in the picture as well so you guys can see. This is what is going to show you the global boards right here. So as you guys see, clean up, Equology, Wildlife, 2,000 attending players, 5,000 attending players, and 7,000 attending players. So, hopefully we get 17 there were 7,000 attending players, which that would be good. For their Earth Day, I would love to have that. I don't still, now I still don't have Shiny uh, Geo Dude. I need so. So this whole image here will show what it looks like. I believe I'm actually no. I believe I've already had a picture of Shiny Dude. So I ain't gonna do it on my phone. So there's that. Now. Next thing we are going to uh, go to is their next thing that they have announced today. And that was today. Bug out event announced. They have not done a bug event uh, last year. They're going to do one this year. A special bug out event announced April 2nd to 9th. Next week. So this is next week's bug types downward. Oh, and Aurora might be released in this event. We don't know yet. We're, well, I'm trying to pronounce the names so if you guys know. It's on my phone. Uh, let me get it real quick. Let me get my phone real quick. As of right now, I have heard about it. Oh, shit. I can go to my in-game. Well, it's on Twitter, too, so... Let me go on Twitter. I know one of them has posted it. Okay. It says here at the top, says Bug Out is a special bug game Pokemon Go event that takes place from April 2nd next week uh, after the day after I get my community service done for the month. So, working on that. At 1 o'clock p.m. to April 9th, 2019, 1 o'clock p.m. During the event, event a bug top Pokemon will appear free, more frequently in the wild. Insects will last time as the last time tw last twice as long, and more Pokemon will appear you when using insects. A limited time bug type theme field research will be available. No new shiny Pokemon has not been confirmed as yet as of yet. So they have not announced any new shinies that are gonna be released in this event. So we have uh, picture here that is going to show what is going to be out for this event. Now, on this event, these are the bug types you're going to want to find and keep a lookout for. Shiny Caterpie, Shiny Pinsir, and Shiny Pico. I already have all three of these, so I'm not, I'm good. So, my brother has Shiny Pinsir, but he does not have Caterpie or Pico. My account, my second account does not have all three of them. Straight. So I'll have you looking out for them. So, more Pokemon will appear when using incense. Pokemon bug, uh, bug type will appear more freaking wild. Limited time research. So, uh, let me get to the, the uh, tweet here uh, that was said earlier Hold on a second let me find it real real quick I know somebody I know here that did post it and I'm gonna go through here just to see you guys I don't know if Shanka announced it on there yet but he's got a lot of
gotta see if it's here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. Because he said it's not here. Aromas is a thing. I believe that's a instant, the word instant in a different language, so I'm not sure. So, uh, I believe that's what he was trying to say at the part of it. I don't know, but he did post pictures of shiny, uh, what he posted. Jacob posted, uh, the shinies that we're gonna get. Yeah, so another thing is, we have one more thing to, that is left. So, to expect increased spawns, here are the increased spawns that you can expect during the event. Caterpie, Weedle, Paris, Vinternet, Scyther, Kinder, Ladybug, Vinternet, Yama, Wormpole, Volpe, Illusion, Enerith, Cricketot, Cumpy, Shuckle, and Pico. Those are the only ones that are going to be in the event. That we're going to be helping for to look out for in this event. Now, the last but not least, the event that we said earlier, Bagon Community Day is coming April 13th, two weeks from now. So here in two weeks, well, two or three weeks, we're getting shiny Bagon. Cannot wait. We'll be here in the last two to three weeks. So it says, trainers, attention, Bagon is the featured Pokemon for April's Community Day in Pokemon Go on April 13, 2019 from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. local time. And what did I say? They should do the global, uh, global lead time again. And when it come up, we got it right. They did it, they did it again. So that's good. So Bagon will appear more frequently and Shiny Bagon is also expected to make an appearance. So, before I get to the information, on April 12th, April 12th, we are going to be doing our nighttime Shiny hunting. So, from, uh, I believe, to about 9 or to 10, certain areas will start doing it in certain regions, and we will start catching our Shiny Bagon. Like we did with Trico, we got 46 Tricos. So we're gonna try to hit 50 Bagon this time. And I am not gonna try to try and mess any of them this time. We're gonna try and first get our 100% before we do anything else. I'm gonna be on live stream. Okay, so Bagon event. The event, Bagon Community Day, daytime, globally, uh, April 13th from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. We're gonna do it at 12 that night time. Like I did on my mom's birthday, and it came to my birthday. So Bagel will appear more frequently in the wild. Lure models will last three hours of the event. Direction of the event. Evolution shell gone during or up to one hour after the event will obtain similar but no special move. They have not announced a special move just yet. So we don't know what special move that we're gonna get for Sanguins. There's a lot that we do not have. There's one we do not have one. Actually. The bonus is three time catch at speed. I'm gonna post this picture in there as well. Here you see featured Bagon Pokemon. Three hour lures, three times catch at speed, exclusive move to be announced. They have not announced it. Shiny Bagon Family is right to bottom. You guys can see Shiny Bagon Family. Cannot wait to see what move we're gonna get for him. 
one after that says evolve shut out up to one out after the event. After the event to obtain community move. So we get a chance to evolve all of our shinies. I cannot wait for shiny big on. I am a, so excited. So the shiny families you guys saw is from blue color to a green color, which is cool. And from a bright color on Shogun to a green color, like a light green, or light green. And same like to a blue color to a green color. Just obviously good. So we quite excited. We're quite excited for the this community day as Vagon is essentially Generation 3's evaluant of Virginia. Which that's Virginia. Uh, I'm not sure what they mean by that, but the introduction, uh, introduction of a community day and exclusive move to help Simlax outperform Dragonite. We don't care if it outperforms any Pokemon. We just want the shiny. If you guys know what I mean. If you guys want to just get the shiny, not no worry about it out. Not worry about it being outperformed. Uh, Dragonite, comment down below and let me know what you think. If the exclusive move is outrage, however, there's a lot of speculations about Fly being in Simulax. See an exclusive move. The uh, community exclusive giving that is fits with the bag on the floor and Pokemon Poke 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 entry. Now, it says here, Bagon harbor harbors a never-ending dream of one day soaring high among the clouds as of trying to destroy its frustration over its inability to fly. This Pokemon is playing hard-headed gets you drop shatters and much pebbles. In any case, time will tell. Stay out, stay on the lookout for that. So, we're going to have to stay out on the lookout for these shinies. They cannot wait for those shinies that we're looking at this week. Such as Diglett and a lot of the others that are being released. Right now, they, uh, on 27th, it's an, uh, a conceptual idea. This is what I seen earlier that I was going to put in my video as well. Now, uh, Pokemon Go, would a shiny metal be a welcome ad 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 addition? So, they are putting in there to see if, trainer, if they will release the shiny charm. That, to make it a lot easier for you to have a shiny charm to get your shinies like that. So, anyway, it says, trainer, some of the comments and feedback from my article on implanting the shiny charm into Pokemon Go prove that there is something that lots of trainers would love to see in game. A shiny metal. I'm talking about in game just like the one of catching 10 to 50 or 200 of expected type Pokemon. Or hatching 10, 100, or 1,000 eggs featuring a bronze, silver, or gold tier. And maybe even reward it. I'm not used to it. But alas, not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Intentionally, tits, or tit, dying ain't prepper. I feel as thou, the, what did I say thou? I mean, though, this is another implementation that would divide the community entirely with some players choosing to embrace it and show off the metal with pride, while others would say it was yet another reason why Nike is so out of touch with, with the players, etc. I do agree with that. Niantic is out of touch with the players and not giving them a, what we want. So, there, like we was going, we want the shiny, uh, like shiny Rapunzel. I didn't bellow that word the fuck. So, that shit, that was just straight nothing. I didn't bellow that word to hell. So, uh, as of right now, we was wanting shiny uh, record, we didn't get it, so I didn't touch no raids, I just bellowed Diana, straight up. So, and everybody was upset that shiny record was not released. And I, I agree, I was wanting the shiny too. And the first to come back the second time, now we're just telling us, now we're just looking at the others that, like, uh, uh, fuck, uh, what's her fucking name? We heard of in game before, uh, it's on the news of, uh, Pokemon Go, I'll go into it. Garantina, Garantina, that is the one I was going to talk about. So, we're looking at a Garantina, so after Rapunzel, Shiny Rapunzel has been released, 
So now we're thinking that shiny Garakin is not going to be released as well. Two, because, one, because we didn't get shiny Rapunzel. And two, now we're thinking back, thinking back, we're not going to get it. Because. So, like we did with Oddish, now we're just looking at the second time, so I guess we're not going to get it. So, which, that's not a good thing. So, it says here, I want to discuss the options for an enhanced weather. A metal being introduced is the idea as it's one of the th those things that would take very little work from my side to play. This idea is a similar vibe being that to that of the recent addition of hat the hatch and maybe search filter that wears a mask and feels quite a bit. I want to prepare that this by saying that I don't I'm aware of some words that have yet to catch the of shiny Pokemon. While others have multiples of these channels uh, available for unfortunately this is a, this is just the cruel nature of the beast when it comes to dealing with random number generation. Yeah, I understand. I just got shiny love this earlier, so you guys will see that at the end of this video. Unfortunately that is just fairly again. Part of the what makes Shiny Hunter, such as satisfying experience with the fact that you might spend an entire weekend during and hunting during an event and still have nothing to show for it. You also have a couple of new shinies that some high V and a new deck for you don't know what you're going to end up with. I see that gamble isn't to some people's taste, but nothing feels the feeling of clicking something and noticing that the shiny before it spark the sparkles and simple colors. Like finding each other to tell the first time when I'm sweating and seeing the eyes being blue before anything else. With that out of the way, let's uh, look at some of the reasons behind each part of the before discussing each point in detail. Now, uh, right here it says, giving players a running total of all shines collected in game so far. Another medal to chase, easier to obtain for players, would make finding a shiny more rewarding. Similar to the unknown metal. Now let's look at each point in more detail. A lot of players in community say to me that they have no idea how many shines they have or have lost count. That not that they can find out by searching Shiny County. And adding a running total on to the metal screen would let players compare numbers with one click instead of several. Most players by finding out obtain almost every gold medal or every gym badge available. Players my area mostly only have the base trainer trading and few badges left to get before they have a clean sheet. Adding a new medal would give players something else to chase, especially those already at a level cap. This is in for the yeah, for and against section as I see it is as both a pro and a con. And we all know players yeah, every single day encounter one by one on an average. Those who play occasionally more encounters with the right one. More means more chance to, at finding a shiny, of course, random players. That means ra some random, uh, random means some players have lots of shinies that put very little time into the game, those that play lots and have none. But if you look at community days, for example, players who spend the three hours walking up and down. Catching the future Pokemon generally end up with more shiny than those that are stuck at work or can only pop out for an hour. Therefore, these people that can play more frequently are more likely to complete the medal quicker than those that are not, which is a, both a good and a bad thing. Would make finding a shiny more rewarding as if shiny, as finding a shiny with Pokemon wouldn't have a reward in itself. Adding a medal to keep track of the night and finding that shiny, whether it's random from a booster ready event such as Kimia or Safari Zone, to take you from bronze metal to silver one. That bit more special. So they're looking right here, there's a lot to talk about. And I ain't going to keep reading every bit of this, but a lot here, guys. And yeah, so we're looking at trying. So, we are looking at for Nine Tip to try and give us the shiny metal. Uh, okay, let me just a little bit. Okay, so we're looking for Nine Tip to give us the shiny charm. Now, 
If they do release Shiny Charm, it's going to be a lot easier for me to find Shiny Sableye and the ones I don't have right now, which is good. So, anyways, I'll get you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, to like, subscribe, comment below, share our videos. See you guys later. And tune in for more videos. Peace out. Wow.